What's up guys, thank you for watching another video. We're here at 412 today. Today's plan is to prep E46 for paint. What's up Jeff? <laughs> Me and Trevor about to try to sand all this stuff out. Um, I don't know why there's so much rust on the cage, but I guess it's sitting outside for a long time. We're gonna sand it down with this stuff. Is it gonna work? Yeah, it's gone for it. We already started on this door. As you can see, it looks a lot better than the rest of them. And then we can get it painted. I think they might paint it. I don't know who's painting it yet, but somebody needs to paint this interior. And we also need to prep the engine bay too. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so much work. So yeah, that's today's plan. Try to prep the car today so that hopefully we can get this thing painted this weekend maybe, I don't know. Which would be cool. We got the E92 out here. Guys, I was gonna bring the E36 today. I even brought it out the garage and everything. I brought it out the garage. I put gas in the E36. And I just could not do it. I, it was way too hot today. It was like 90 degrees earlier. Bro, I brought the E36 out and I didn't drive. Okay, 105. See, it was even worse. So I put the E36 back in the garage, took the 92 out. Matt just started his E30. Oh shit. Just took it on his first drive. S54 swap E30. It's an E46 M3 motor in there. That thing is so loud. <laughs> I can't even breathe. Literally everything in here has to be sanded down and prepped because everything's gonna be white. Bro, I think this is my favorite angle of the car. Because you can see the door bars right there and the whole cage. The car is so lifted though because there's no weight. We're painting the whole entire interior white as you guys seen in those pictures I showed you last video. This picture right here. So that I'm I'm hoping the car will look like that very very soon. So let's start prepping this thing and getting ready for paint. Alright guys, we're back at it. This is day number two. I'm about to finish sanding everything down. We just have pretty much have to sand down everything in the whole interior. Did the cage already yesterday, but I'll probably go over it one more time. Took off these panels, the M3 panels. Because we're gonna actually paint the door jams too. Right now I'm masking everything off because I think that we actually might be painting it ourselves. <laughs> at first, we we're gonna have them paint it or somebody paint it have somebody paint it a paint shop or somebody that paints but i remember that my dad has a paint gun at home so i followed the paint gun brought it here and i think me and sam are gonna try to paint it ourselves i think it's gonna come out sick however we use this thing shouldn't it be too hard <laughs> the cage will probably come out a lot cleaner if we have an actual painter do it but i think it'll be cool and i also think it would be pretty sick to do it myself or with the help of sam and have me actually spray it then someone else do it i think it'd be awesome to actually like put my hands on the car spray it myself i'm pretty sure it'll come out good i don't think there's no way it could be bad and it's a drift car it's not a show car bro <laughs> a little bit of a show car <laughs> God, dude. <laughs> that was the first time that car has ever done donuts, I think. Joseph stole his car and did donuts. Bro. <laughs> this is crazy. I tried my best. It looks like a mess, but it'll, do, it'll get the job done. We also had to take out the tail lights just so I don't paint over them. Like I said, this car is going to be wrapped. So if there is any overspray, the car is going to get wrapped over. You won't see any of the overspray. What are these guys doing? Wow. <laughs> Damn. How'd you do that? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm weak, motherfucker. 
<laughs> it's a break time. Dude, that, <laughs> they really arm wrestling. Oh, that was funny. All right, guys. We got a paint, bro. We got some primer. I don't know if we're going to use the primer or not, but we got it. They only had literally a couple of these little tiny ones. So hopefully it's enough. I hope. It's called Championship White. All right, guys. We took a little break from painting. I look like crap, but we're here. We came to the Hoonigan thing. Let's check out some cars. Damn, look at this Porsche. Roll out, if you guys remember, I came here like a couple, probably a month ago now. This is their second one. Should be crazy. I just want to say, my dude's also got a broken arm. <laughs> oh! This shit makes no noise. is done bro. Uh, Poor car. But I guess. This shit is crazy. All right guys, today is day four, I think. I have like four days in this vlog, but today we're finally getting the car painted. Finally, it's been so long, but Sam's already getting to it. The first coat, it already looks so, so much better, dude. We did do a primer on yesterday on the inside. I don't think I filmed any of it, but gonna take some long dude <laughs> but we got a primer in yesterday looks like a bunch of different colors right now because the primer is not very thick we did a very light coat of primer and now we're going over with the white we're doing the whole inside the whole trunk literally the whole entire interior of the car has to be painted I cracked the windshield the other day when I was trying to take off some of the plastics I cracked the windshield unfortunately so I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a crack that goes up right there. 
So I fucked up and we're gonna have to get a whole new windshield. So that's why I didn't even mask off the inside. And then the inside windows, I didn't mask them off either because we're probably gonna replace all the windows with some plexiglass windows. I don't know if you guys seen Sam's car. He has like plastic windows, so we probably might do that. But Sam's going at it. It's gonna look sick. after this dude guys that's harder than it seems sam made it look a lot easier than what it was that was the first time i ever did it and it's pretty freaking hard we still need so much to do ah. but yeah guys it's coming along slowly but surely Surely. very slow <laughs> god dude that's why the first and last time i pee in a car All right, guys, I think we're done for today. We got the first coat on. It's very, very light. We need a whole bunch more coats, but we ran out of paint. We got the majority, as much as we could, done. I think it's gonna look really good once it's all done. It actually looks pretty freaking good. I'm not gonna lie. Now tomorrow, we'll probably go get some new paint, a big old gallon, so we don't run out this time. But yeah, I just wanna end the video now because we got like four days worth of vlog, uh, four days worth in this vlog. And I just want to post something because I haven't posted something in like a week. I'm sorry I haven't posted, I haven't posted in so long, but. My dog. Shamuta. Oh man, that's bad, don't say that, that's your mom. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm in the vlog right there because I want to get something up for you guys. No more paint, so tomorrow we'll come back, get some new paint, and finish the car completely. I'm so tired. We've been at it for like a week. And guys, Sam put in a lot of work too. Make sure you guys go give Sam a follow on Instagram. He literally did this whole thing. And he's gonna put the engine together and the rest of the car together. Editing that video right now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know this video was all over the place, like four days in one. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below what you guys think about the roll cage. Smash the like button, subscribe to your boy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Feel me. I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. I might sip out this bottle, just drowning my sorrows. Drowning my sorrows, be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25. I'm thanking God for letting me see in 26. Shit.